Hey guys, HCG Chica. I am just checking in because I had my hydrostatic body fat test done just today. And so I want to let you guys know I'm really excited because in just three months of CrossFit, I've gained seven pounds, oh, a little over seven pounds of muscle. So um, that's really exciting. And I've only gained a half pound of fat since the end of my last round as well. So um, my la at the end of my last round, I, my LDW was 122.8. When I actually went in to have my hydrostatic, I would think that day I was 124.8 on his scale. And I, um, I had 33.79 pounds of fat. And today I had 34.33. So only a half pound fat gain, which is really good. Um, since I gained seven over seven pounds of muscle, and that means that I've maintained my fat loss from my last round, which was over 16 pounds, 16 pounds worth of fat that I lost last time. I've maintained almost all of that for over four months now um, while going to CrossFit and gaining over seven pounds of muscle. My body fat percent is now actually lower because of how much muscle I've gained. Um, my body fat percent at the end of last round was 27%, which was a, a drop of 7.5% from before round three. And now it's 25.9, which is actually a whole percent lower. Um, I wasn't even trying to get a lower body fat percent during this interim period, but I was trying to, to build muscle and get stronger. Um, but anyway, I'm really excited about that because, you know, I weighed in today at 132.5 pounds with a lower body fat percent than at 124.8 pounds. So I'm really excited. And um, if any of you guys have any questions about, you know, um, hydrostatic or just, you know, what does it all mean? Body fat percent, pounds of fat, lean muscle, like, you know, feel free to ask. Um, and I just kind of want to throw out there to um, all you ladies and women out there, not to be afraid to, to build muscle and that for a time what that might mean is that you will see an increase in the scale you know unless you build muscle and lose fat at the same time you will see an increase in the scale and you will you will even have a slight increase in your inches um, but you know what it, it can be very difficult to both gain muscle and lose fat at the same time um, you know, maybe if you want to go beyond the biggest loser, you can do that. <laughs> but I really think it's much simpler to focus <clears throat> on one thing at a time. And with HCG, it just makes it really, I don't want to say easy, but easy in a way and very simple. Um, whereas, you know, this, this last three months, um, I've been able to eat. I haven't had to count a certain amount of calories in order to lose to lose weight or to lose fat. I've been eating, you know, a normal amount um, and more because I've been building muscle. So, um, and yet I only gained a half pound of fat out of all the, the weight that I've gained since then. So, um, so I'm just encouraging you guys not to be afraid of that. And now, um, now I'm able to get rid of some more excess fat. So, um, yeah, just think of it as a process, you know, think of it as a process um, and that, because, you know, I, I'm as I'm a woman who is not fond of really hefty looking bodybuilder, that bodybuilder look either. I, I don't I don't want to be that. <laughs> I do want to be lean. I would like to be muscular. Um, but there's kind of a process to doing that. So now I'm going to lose more fat, which means I'll look leaner. And then I will be building muscle again. So then my I'll be seeing the scale go back up again. Um, so before I, you know, cut again with HCG. So anyway, I just wanted to throw that out there, you know, um, not to always view the scale alone as your um, gauge of whether you're a success or a failure. And that's why there's so much um, value in finding a way to be aware of, of the composition of your body, um, your, your, your body fat percent, um, because I haven't had to worry at all about, you know, ending my round at 122.8 and then some days being as high as 135 pounds, you know, almost 13 pounds, 14 pounds over almost. 
Um, but I haven't had to worry about that because I, I am able to track my body fat percent on my um, handheld Omron. And, and as it turns out, you know, I know not everyone has this experience, but for me, it, it's really pretty close and really consistent. Um, this morning, I actually weighed myself as a pound heavier than he did at 133.6. And I came up with a body fat percent of 24.9. And, you know, when I went into the hydro place, it was um, 25.9. So only 1% off. And the pounds of fat was, was one pound less on my monitor than on the, uh, the hydrostatic. So that's, that's you know, for $30, which is how much my, my fat monitor costed. And um, since I can use it every day. And for the peace of mind it can give me, knowing that what I am gaining is muscle, um, that that's to me that's extremely extremely useful. So um, again, you would have to experiment to see if it's as useful for you. I know at, at least one person found that the Omron was actually quite different than their body fat in reality, um, and I believe she had said after you know, figuring things out that it ended up being due to how much excess skin she had from losing so much weight that, th that it wasn't taking that into account. Um, I don't know that I, I don't have a lot of excess skin myself. Um, I, I started at 172 pounds. Um, I technically, if you count everything I've lost, I've lost probably like 70 pounds, but I'm really at this moment only, um, you know, 172 and now I'm 132. So what is that? 40, 40 pounds, right? 40 pounds? Wow, it still seems like a lot. Anyway, so I'm 40 pounds down at this moment. And at the end of my last round, I was, you know, close to 50 pounds down. So I guess I just don't have as much excess skin or something. But um, it's been really consistent for me. And, um, yeah, it, it's just really, it's just so freeing. It's so freeing to be able to pursue something. You know, I, I remember talking to someone one time and they, they had been doing a lot of walking and hiking and then they said they quit because they were trying to lose weight and they were actually gaining weight. And so I, I'm sure they were gaining muscle. Um, but it's, it, you know, and of course we want to lose fat, but it's, it's hard. It's hard to lose fat, you know. I mean, HCG is so great for losing fat. You know, so that's what I'm going to stick with <laughs> for losing fat. And I'll, I do all these other things to get strong. So, all right, you guys, I'll talk to you soon. Take care. Bye.